Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to do synthetic division to solve for the zeros of a function. Now, when it comes to synthetic division, it's actually a pretty uh, nice and straightforward process. Now, when you're asked to find the zeros using synthetic division, you're generally given one of the zeros. So let's uh, do an illustration, and you'll see what I mean. Suppose you want to find the zeros of the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 7x plus 10, and you're given that 2 is a 0. Okay. Generally, when they give you a 0, it's a nice starting point to consider because if they give you a number is 0, is a 0 of the function, that number you put in a box. And that's how the synthetic division process uh, works, is whatever number they give you for a 0, you put in the box. Now, how synthetic division works is you're going to take this polynomial and you're going to line up in descending order. Nothing is left uncovered. So, for example, the x squared, because there's one x squared, you use the coefficients associated with that. So synthetic division uses the coefficients of the polynomial. So you have one x squared, so you're going to have the number 1. Negative 7x, you're going to write negative 7, and the constant is 10. Now, I want to say that you want to be sure that all the exponents for x are covered from the, from the top. So for example, if there was no x there, there was no x term, you would have put a 0 in its place. Make sure that it's in descending order and nothing is missing. Now, in synthetic division, once you have all the coefficients uh, labeled, you draw a dividing line because you're going to put some other numbers into, into play. Now, for synthetic division, the process is you bring down the first number always. So you're going to bring down the 1, and you're going to take that first number, and you're going to multiply by the number in the box. So 1 times 2 is going to be 2, and you're going to add going forward. So negative 7 plus 2 is going to give you negative 5, and then you're going to repeat. Negative 5 times 2 is going to be negative 10, and 10 minus 10 is going to give you a 0. Now, in synthetic division, when you're, when you're asked to find zeros, you should always have 0 as the last number because that's going to be a 0 remainder. Now, what this represents is going to be the next polynomial of the next degree. So if you start out with x squared, the one's going to represent the next higher exponent, which is going to be x, and the minus 5 is going to be your constant. And how do you find the rest of the zeros is you take what's left over, x minus 5, and you set it equal to 0 and solve. And as you can tell, x is going to equal to 5. So the basic idea of finding zeros using synthetic division is set up the polynomial using numbers, put the number in the box, and then take the remaining polynomial and solve. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to do synthetic division to find the zeros of a function.